Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ulma Team Road to Glory episode number 130 today. Uh, I have decided to double upload tonight uh, simply because I'm fairly ahead on footage right now and it is team of the year and I want to make sure that by rewards day we hopefully uh, we do our rewards as close to that as possible. So uh, double upload for you today. If you haven't already seen the earlier video, make sure you pause this one click back see that one check it out and then of course come back over to here and smash a like on both of them i'm gonna need 5,000 likes as a little gift for the double upload you can hit me with a thumbs up right and of course subscribe to the channel as well if you're new around here so getting on into today's video then we're actually gonna start like i said i'm a little bit ahead so uh we're gonna start with the 83 plus double attacker pack now i opened this i guess saturday night whenever it came out when um or sunday night no saturday night because that was when team of the year attackers were still in packs obviously and i wanted to make sure i completed this uh because it's you know if we got if we got CR7 from an 84 plus player pick, maybe we could get um, another one like a Lewandowski or a Mbappe from the 83 plus double. So why not submit the 83 rated squad? Had the stuff in my club. Uh, nice and easy. Get that one done. Um, and I was very excited because it, this is, I don't know if we've had this one before yet. Have we had the double 83? Not in the like position, you know, the sp specific position one, have we? So, anyway, this was fairly exciting to do. I've still got the defender and midfielder pack to do once, uh, probably in, like, tomorrow's video, whenever I get to the point where midfielders were released or whatnot. Um, so, we do get a walkout, and you can see blue at the end of the tunnel. But, unfortunately, the flares, they weren't purple. They were blue. But we actually end up getting Eden Hazard. I think that's a bit of a dub. I know he is as cheap as the next 88 on this game at this stage, so he's, like, an 88 fodder. Uh, so, it's nothing, like... Too exciting like it was when we packed his regular gold version at the very start of the game or you know a few weeks into the game uh and the other one's 83 tadich unfortunately it went from like 100 to zero real quick <laughs> so uh yeah we we end up getting an 88 and then an 83 so i think it was kind of worth it. it gives us a nice player especially for an sbc fodder uh, because we've got so many left wingers and good stuff in our club that we definitely won't be playing him at this point Slight adaption to the squad for the rest of the weekend league. Uh, Mendy uh, just going to come in for Kazawa. I actually don't really rate Kazawa. Uh, not much at all. I just think his work rates really let him down at left back. So for now, the, the cheapest solution would be to, to just start Mendy. Um, and that doesn't change the team chem or anything. So we're at 11 wins. I can't exactly remember what we're at. Maybe 11 and... 11 and 4? 11 and 5? I can't exactly remember. Uh, but we come up against Maddox 11 with uh, Prime Mateus, as well as like the usual suspects. And then, you know, Player of the Sun, uh, that man of the match, or is it a live item or Bamiyang? I, I I'm not sure if that's a live item or not. Actually, I think it is. I think it would be, right? But we go 1 0 up with. Uh, well, you can guess who, can't you? Is that man? Cristiano. Uh, lovely finish, actually. Sort of. Weaving his way through the defence and then bangs it right into the top corner. Ronaldo then sort of trying to make it his way through again. Knocks it into Robin to Neymar. Neymar obviously been a lot more quiet since CR7's come in. Because it really is just the ronaldo Robin show at this point. Uh, they are obviously doing the business together. But um, yeah, Neymar at Cam. It, it, obviously, I, I love using him at striker. I love using him at left striker. So he's been a little quieter than he normally would be anyway. Just because Robin has that spot. Um, <coughs> I think my most useful position in my squad is the left striker. I, I, I think that's just the way I play. I've also got it set up, haven't I? And I might need to think about changing this. I've got it set up so that my right striker is on, like, balanced instead of, like, get behind or something. He's, like, makes mixed, different mixed runs. Whereas, considering we have CR7, we might as well tell him and Robin to just get behind and make loads of runs, right? Would that be smart? Anybody with more FIFA knowledge than me, if you could let me know, that'd be brilliant. Um, but at 4-1 up, uh, just before half-time, this guy's had enough, and I don't blame him, to be honest. We were playing some nice football. All of the attackers actually getting on the score sheet there, even Neymar working his magic. Uh, 
to get a goal there to, to, to give us the, the victory. Uh, nice football from myself and another victory brings us up to 12 overall. Couple needed just to get to that 14. Um, and as you guys know, I played on a bit further than that this weekend. You'll see that in the next day or so. We go into the next game though. This guy's got Mbappe. He's got uh, Prime Hierro. I guess he did the SBC maybe. Uh, and then uh, that Red Delaney. So those two centre-backs. Not ones that I often come up against anymore. Uh, and if I do come up against them, I wouldn't be that fussed. Because, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I, think, I feel like there's a lot better players on the game. But they're both pretty solid. And this guy, I have to admit was very good with the use of his players. He knew what he was doing with his team. I wouldn't be surprised if he's played with this squad for a good few weeks in a row, uh, and he's just really got to grips with his team. That's that's maybe one area why we sort of struggle quite a lot sometimes, because I'm chopping and changing my team all the time. But that's also how I enjoy Ultimate Team, right? I love to get new players in and stuff all the time. Uh, and this, this game's just not going to go well. Uh, I do everything wrong that I can do wrong. And um, he capitalized on those mistakes literally every time. Uh, Ronaldo, you know, when he hits the post there instead of it going in the back of the net, you know it's just not going to be your day. Um, however, CR7 just gets the ball here, cuts inside. Actually reverse flip-flaps, I think, or reverse elastico, whatever it was. That was a really nice goal. A uh, couple of really good skill moves there, but it's going to be too little too late. And right at the end, I do a terrible offside trap. It's a classic lasty offside trap, actually. Uh, and I just let Mbappe for any scores a goal. So I lose 4-1 there. Definitely brought back down to earth. Uh, and that was one of the games that I'm maybe I tweeted about. I can't remember. It would be, you know, one of the times that I tweeted saying that, yes, I do have Team of the Year Ronaldo, as you guys keep reminding me whenever I lose or tweet angry stuff um but he he genuinely can't defend for me i know i said this all the time already but uh you know it doesn't change much in my defense does it i, I, I yeah I, I might score more goals i just gotta try and outscore my opponent because we know i'm always gonna leak goals I'm just not that good at defending I make silly uh, silly decisions and I try and control my centre-backs too much when I probably shouldn't. But that's just how the way I know how to play, I guess. I, I just don't know any different. That's just how I think you should play and how it should go. But yeah. Anyway, I, I went 1-0 down in this game, literally. I had kickoff and I gave the ball away straight away and conceded. But we did get the equaliser and then Ronaldo just gets it into the box to Neymar, who can tap it home. Nice work. So we actually turned the game around pretty Pretty quickly, you know, in the first half, we were already leading. Uh, then Seydorf can knock it into Ronaldo. Score on that left foot. Off balance, on the turn, on the weak foot. Still goes in the back of the net. That is just how good he is. Robin then, going to knock this one into CR7. Just going to scoot past the defender there. And bang it near post because I felt like... If I shot far post, he would just about move the goalkeeper. Uh, and sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. This time around, I don't even know if he did, but I just shot near post and it went in. So, yeah, dem demolition in this game. De absolute destruction. I'm obviously doing all right. It was just that one little blip right at the very start of the game. Maybe I wasn't concentrating enough or something. But that's, <laughs> that's a fantastic goal right there from the main man. Uh, just like the, the fake Rabona to the... To the rainbow flick, to the keepy-uppy, to the little dink over the goalkeeper. Lovely. Uh, it just looked nice, and uh, obviously it gets me a little bit further away from my opponent. There's no way, even if he scores once and, hey, even gets, you know, two goals back, he's still only at 5-3. Uh, there's just no way you're going to come back at, at that stage, you know, being 5-1 down. Uh, good result. Absolutely smashed him. I mean, my goalkeeper didn't save much. He saved uh, one out of four shots on target. But that is going to bring us to 13 wins. 13 and... Is it 13 and 5? I think it is. And we come up against this. This right here is... Uh, I was going to say he's the best opponent I've faced. He's the joint best opponent I've faced this weekend. Um, and you'll see why tomorrow or whenever about the other one. But this guy just... He just had my number. He just knew exactly what to do against me. Um, <clears throat> he was playing the 4-4-2, which is the 4-1-2-1-2 narrows kryptonite, in my opinion. It's just if you're good and you use the 4-4-2, then you are going to annihilate me. Now, don't get me wrong. I fully bottled the equalizer there, just messing up the penalty with Neymar. Uh, I've done that a few times now. I need to need to work rework on my penalties, you know. But uh, another like cross, uh, you know, a little ball across the goal, and Neymar can make it two 0 Awa can get in here. Didn't even need to cut into that strong foot, which is what I was expecting him to do. So uh, he, he makes it three 0 on the weak foot. 
Then what is uh, what is the goalie doing there? Oh no, he's just giving it straight away. Just boot it out, mate. You can't control the keepers in those situations, and it's so frustrating. So I'm 4 0 down. Hey, why not make it 5, right? But you'll notice that I'm just not quitting because I knew that there was a chance that if I get as many points as possible, I might be able to get Div 1 rank 1. Um, saying that, it's. It's fairly unlikely, just because I've seen what the points are like at this stage in time. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that again more tomorrow's episode. Uh, but I, I give a penalty away in the 85th minute. 5-0 um, becomes 6-0. I don't think I've got an absolute, like, absolute battering like this for quite a long time. Uh, but like I have mentioned plenty of times before, it does seem to happen at, like, once a weekend. Maybe not as bad as 6-1. That's pretty, that's pretty embarrassing. Um, but, yeah, he, he was good. Whoever this guy was, very good at FIFA. I'll give him that. Uh, loads of possession. Just annihilated me, to be fair. Uh, so, 13 and 6 now, I think. We're going into what will hopefully be our last game. Uh, with, we just won that one win to go until we get can hit the 14. And we come up against Robin Mbappe. Varane, Gomez, Tavernier, Kante, lots of good players. Uh, Pirlo and I've forgotten the name of the striker. That's going to annoy me as well because why can't I remember the name of that striker? Who is it? Politano? I think it's Politano. I think I've plucked that one from the back of uh, back of the knowledge box. Brain? I don't know. I've, literally, I'm just like losing my words at this point. Anyway, I went 1-0 down. Got the equaliser. It is that man. Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, and then look at this for a goal. We just hoof it up from defence. And um, that's probably the craziest goal I've scored with CR7 so far. Uh, it was just literally a hoof up from Varane, I think. And, uh, and I actually latched on and looped the goalkeeper with the header. It was just... It was mental. I, I didn't expect that to happen whatsoever. And uh, we make it 3-1 course with him again scoring uh graven birch can knock it into cr7 get past that defender bang it in the back of the net we can get another goal make it 4-1 hey why not try and make it 5-1 right neymar just cutting inside past the defenders doing some nice dribbling hit the rainbow flick volley at the right time and uh i think that's going to be all she wrote i think that's enough for my opponent and is it i can't remember do they quit are you going to quit? You're leaving me in suspense right now. I'm pretty sure they're going to quit. There we go. Uh, and that was what got me my 14th win. So we could be 14 and 6. So considering we started 2 and 3 before we got Ronaldo, uh, he has helped carry us to a res more respectable 14 win scoreline. And that left me with 10 games remaining. And this was finished this stuff like Saturday night. So um, when it comes to 10 games remaining and you know you've got Sunday and you own Team of the Year Ronaldo and uh, it meant that I was probably going to play on a little bit. Even if it's, you know, just head on to 17, um, I, I, I figured I would play. So we'll see, you'll see that in a future episode. But um, for now, we hit level 16. Didn't know which of the TFOs to take. It was between this Zero Override guy and then the Yeti. And I thought, you know what, we're just going to take the Yeti because, uh, yeah, it looks cool. Uh, may maybe I'll use it. I need like a white and blue theme for the stadium though. So uh might have to go and purchase some items. Although I might have white and blue, you know. Yeah, because I had the whole Ipswich thing before, didn't I? So, um, yeah, we should be all right. But yeah, in terms of this weekend league, like if I was to normally stop where I stop, which would be about here, I would have five games of rivals left to play. Um, but I haven't quit any of these games this week. So I'm sat at like... A relatively high. I'm set like 11,500 or something in terms of rivals points. Knowing that um, rank one is normally like 13 and a half, 14k, we have a chance here. By the way, 23 goals, five assists in 11 games for CR7, and he didn't score in his very first game. So, yeah, uh, that is that is that. So I kind of did the next thing that I'm gonna do without thinking because I I'm at 14 wins now. So in my head, I was like, oh done with the weekend league um i should just do what i normally do which is sell off the expensive players uh, and i knew that i'd be be selling neymar at some point because as much as i planned to keep him i didn't plan on packing ronaldo so now that we've got him i feel like neymar might be a little bit of a waste i kind of want to use the coins in a different area of the team maybe knowing that we've got such a strong strike force 
So I could sell him for more than I bought him for. Sold him for 34k more than I bought him for. So we actually make a little bit of money after tax, uh, which is all right. You know, I didn't expect that. Or maybe we just about break even, something like that. Uh, but as you can see, pretty much instantly sells. He was literally 1k cheaper than the rest on the market. Uh, but he literally sells and we have nearly 700 thousand coins at our disposal thanks to him selling and of course us packing that cante and selling that for 150k so yeah 700k to work with uh, i think for the rest of the weekend league and for the next couple of episodes at least uh or yeah at least for tomorrow we're going to be using players from our squad i think as you, as you can see here Joao Felix is going to make his way back in. So we'll have an attack of Felix, Rob, and Ronaldo. Obviously, that sounds very strong in itself. We've just got to figure out what other players fit in there in order to get people in the right, you know, uh, if I play that defense, then I need a center back somewhere up the pitch to then swap with them in so I can put Acuna at CDM. There's lots of things to think about and I'll make the adjustments to the team at the start of tomorrow's episode um, and we'll crack on from there. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Can you do me a huge favor or today's second video, should I say, do me a massive favor in that instance of smashing the thumbs up button. I want to still see the, the support and the likes on both videos from today. All right, guys. And of course, subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are down below. Have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>